Hello dear students, I welcome you all in this video lecture on critical analysis of the story of an ah by Kurt Chopin. This video lecture helps you in understanding the story critically. The very first part of this critical analysis is plot of the story. The plot of the story has five important elements. The very first one is exposition. In the exposition part, we are introduced to the protagonist of the story. Second important element is rising action. In this part, Mr. Brentley Mallard is reported to die in a train accident and Lois's sister is going to tell her sister about this incident. Climax Mr. Mallard turns out to be alive. He is completely unaware about the current situation. Falling action Situation of Mrs. Mallard and other events towards the resolution is what we call falling action. Resolution Mrs. Mallard dies after seeing her husband alive. This is the diagrammatic representation of a critical analysis of the story. The very first part is exposition and then rising action, climax, falling action and finally resolution. The second important part of this critical analysis is characters of the story. The very first and the most important character of this story is Miss Lois Mallard. She is the protagonist of the story. She seems to be heart patient whose husband is reportedly killed in a train accident. She looks in trap between her desires and social expectations. After hearing about her husband's death in accident, she is secretly happy because she is now free. She dies of heart attack when her husband comes back home alive. Next important character is Brentley Mallard, Lois's husband, supposedly killed in a train accident. He is a kind loving man, but because of the bondage of marriage, he is considered as an oppressor. Josephine is another character in this story. She is Lois's sister. She informs Lois about Brittany's death. Richards. Richards is a friend of Brantley. Symbolism. There are various symbols used in this story. The very first one is heart trouble. It shows a breakdown in the fundamental structure of the society. For example, marriage. Josephine and Richards. Josephine and Richards represent common male and female characters of the society. Also symbolizes the way society sees widow or a child that should be taken care of. Open window. It shows a gate to Lois's new life when she looks out from the window. She feels that she is totally different person. Fourth important symbol is a new Cyprian. New Cyprian shows Lois's rebirth. Rebirth of nature like after winter is also another interpretation of this symbol. After death of Lois's husband, a new life waits for her. Lechki. Lechki shows patriarchy. Uh, Mr. Mallard has the key of the main door and Mrs. Mallard can't go outside freely whenever she wants. This entire description shows a patriarchal society or the male-dominated society of the 19th century. The room or armchair. The only place where Mrs. Mallard feels free or feels herself. Figurative language or symbolism. We come across with figurative language and symbolism in every line of this story. So, most of the figurative language is written in an ironical way. So, first of all, we try to define the term irony. The use of words that say the opposite of what you really mean, often as a joke. So, let's discuss these ironical statements one by one. There are three samples which I have taken from this story. The very first one is the joy that kills. The society thinks that Lois dies because of the joy, however, she dies because of disappointment. Second important ironical line is you will make yourself ill. When we read between the lines, Lois locks herself in the room and drinks a lot. On the contrary to the expectations of the people, she is thinking about her new and free life. Little whispered. Freedom should be spoken out loudly, but Lois is not allowed to speak out because of the patriarchal society. In patriarchal society, you can't do anything without your husband's permission. This is what society expects from you. 
internal conflict and external conflicts. These are the two important conflicts which are discussed in this story. Internal conflict uh, is actually ambivalent feeling of uh, Mrs. Malad. She's striving to get her freedom back. And it, external conflict is actually uh, a conflict between protagonist and society. What lies is a feeling is against the society. Themes. There are several important themes which have been discussed or which we can see in this story. Uh, some of the themes I'm going to discuss in this lecture. Oppression of women in marriage. Death of Eloise's husband shows she is free now. This is the first theme. It shows that because of this marriage, she was bound and she was oppressed. Entrapment of women. She is entrapped. I'm talking about the protagonist of the story, Eloise. Eloise is uh, looking entrapped and by the social expectations, society, society's expectations are extremely against her expectations. And societal expectations and suppressed women. Entrapment of women. She is entrapped by societal expectations. Society's expectations are exactly against the expectations of the protagonist. Social expectations and suppressed women. Uh, society expects that she should take care of her husband and her children. This is what the expectations of the society. But uh, the protagonist is thinking exactly opposite what society thinks. The message. Life is full of surprises and irony. Yes, everybody seems worried about the death of Mr. Malad, but uh, he doesn't die at the end. The society thinks Mrs. Malad dies because of joy, but on the contrary, she dies because of disappointment. Thank you so much. This is all about the critical analysis of the story. If you have any question you can ask, you can contact me on my email address as well as on my WhatsApp number.